Senior Matt Berletti usually leads the Tar Heels onto the field with an American flag. But after suffering a knee injury on this play against Clemson, there's a chance Merletti won't put on a Carolina helmet ever again. And by the time I got in the locker room and everything, that's when the whole sadness thing hit and uh, I broke down into tears. And It was just a devastating feeling, the whole thing. Dr. Elizabeth Hedgepeth teaches sports psychology at UNC. She says that type of reaction to a severe injury is pretty common. First, they go through grieving because they've lost something. They've lost their... They've lost their identity, they've lost their sport, they've lost what they were all about. But the injury wasn't as bad as Merletti initially thought. After a surgery that left him with only a few small bandages, Merletti isn't even using crutches. But he isn't ready to play just yet. Merletti has spent more than 1,000 hours practicing football on this field. But if you're looking for him now, Merletti can likely be found right here doing his knee rehabilitation at Keenan Stadium. Rehab does get a little boring and kind of frustrating at times. Hedgepath says rehabilitation can actually frustrate an athlete as much as help an injury. There's nothing fun about rehab. I mean, it is just bloody boring. I mean, you can only do so many leg lifts. After a while, you just go bonkers. Merletti says during rehab, he thinks about getting back on the field but he is also aided by the support of UNC fans. Yeah, it was, uh, it was extremely eye-opening when, uh, when I received all the support from people I didn't even know and, and fans that I did know. And uh, that, was a, that was a great feeling to, to know that I had people to kind of fall back on. Merletti says it would mean the world to him to play one more game in Carolina Blue, but the doctors must clear him first, and they're unsure about that right now. In Chapel Hill, I'm Clint Hanna, Carolina Week.